Hello everyone. We will continue the topic data migration using BAPI. Now we will pass the data to the BAPI parameters. Firstly, I will go for first thing head data. I will declare one parameter in front of head data. Suppose I am writing ls underscore head data we know the type of ls underscore head data will be same as that of head data so i will declare how i will double click import i will copy the type of head data and i will declare in my program i will write simply data ls underscore head data type structure if i will double click on this it is a structure it means ls underscore head data is a one area we will pass the various values which are required ls underscore head data what is the first thing we have to pass? Material, material number. So I will write material is equal to, you know, your legacy data is one by one is going to this work area. So I will simply write ls underscore data hyphen and you, what is your name? What is your name in the particular structure? In the particular work area, it's Matena. I'll just wait. I think system is slow. Yes. If you know, you declare the column name as Matena. So whatever the material number is there, you are passing it to you are passing it to BAPI parameter ls underscore head data and the column name is material now i will go to setting head data hyphen but the second thing we have to pass industry sector and what is the column name for the industry sector in your work area it is your mbrsh it is your industry sector just simple thing, one by one, we are passing the values to the BAPI parameters. LS underscore head data hyphen material type is equal to LS data hyphen MTART. For material type, your column name is MTART. So material type will go to your parameter ls underscore head data. Now we choose the basic data. Whenever we are creating the material, we are creating the material with basic details. So we have a parameter or we have a column. Yes, the column name is basic underscore view. Now we are selecting the basic data whenever we are creating the material. And you know, whenever you are selecting something, value is true. How we are going for true value? By capital X. Now we will move next. So our head data part is done. Now we will come on to next parameter. If you remember, we covered our unit of measurement is in the second parameter client data. If I will double click, you can see we have unit of measurement. So I will use this. I will uncomment. I will declare one parameter in front of that ls underscore client data. The type of ls underscore client data is same as that of client data. 
so we will simply declare in our program ls underscore client data type what is the type of ls underscore client data it will be same as that of client data now we will pass the unit of measurement ls underscore client data what is the column unit of measurement i will copy base underscore u and it is coming from our legacy and what is the column for the unit of measurement you took? M E I N S. Then we will go for description part. Now, now we will cover most important thing. Have you seen for client data, there is another parameter in the BAPI client data X. If you see plant data, we have plant data X. If we have forecast parameter, we have forecast parameter X. If we have planning data, we have planning data X. So what is the significance? Up to this level, we pass the unit of measurement, but SAP will not consider unit of measurement. Whatever the value you are passing, if you want the BAPI to consider that value, in the corresponding structure, in the corresponding update structure, in the corresponding update structure, you have to pass that value to capital X also. Column value to capital X. Suppose simple thing. If I will go to client data X, it is of this type. You can see here also we have same to same column but the length is one so this is most important thing whenever you are passing a bar value so sap will not consider that value until and unless and until you are passing the true value to in the corresponding update structure suppose i'm saying we are passing suppose the document so SAP will not update document unless and until in the corresponding update structure which SAP provided, we are not passing to capital X. Most, most important understanding. Suppose whenever I will write the logic, it will make a more sense to you. So it is compulsory. I will uncomment the corresponding update structure. I will declare ls underscore client data x. Now I will declare ls client data x and ls underscore client data x is of this particular type. Now I will simply write the logic ls underscore client data x hyphen unit of measurement is equal to capital x most most important thing if in the corresponding update structure you will not pass it to capital x sap will not consider now sap understand that you want to update unit of measurement because in the update structure, you pass the unit of measurement to capital X also. So now SAP will understand that you want to update the unit of measurement. Now we will go for last part. What is our last part? Description. I will declare one internal table in front of material description parameter. Suppose I am writing LT underscore BESC. I will check table step the type of LT underscore BESC 
will be same as that of material description. So I will declare. I will simply write lt underscore desc type table of because it is an internal table. This particular structure. I will declare the corresponding work area also. LS underscore DESC type this particular structure. I will check the syntax. Now, in the next video, we will see how to pass the value to this description structure also. Thank you.